Hi guys, Splatter Trigger here, and today I was uh, digging through some of my strategy guide collection. I figured I'd pull a couple of them out and uh, just show them off and talk about them a little bit. Uh, got a little bit, got some nostalgia here. I was uh, going on, going through and I found these uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, Part 1 and 2. Uh, these are the mini little guides that were first put in in uh, the original, I think the first and second issues of Nintendo Power. Um, I showed these off on a video a long, long time ago, but I figured I'd bring them back out of rotation. And uh, next up will be another Nintendo Power old school subscriber uh, deal with the uh, Super Mario Brothers three. See how these, uh, you know, the Nintendo Power used to used to and still does sell them, uh, sell these strategies you guys and used to get them as like a, you know, subscriber bonus and whatnot. Um, Next up is another strategy guide I've also showed off in a video a long time ago. That would be uh, my Secret of Mana strategy guide. And this thing is, I'm sorry, but uh, I got a lot of love for it, but I let a cousin of mine borrow it a long time ago, and he didn't take too care of it. It's pretty beat up. Interestingly enough, this is done back in uh, black and white, except for the center, which has all the enemies on them and the bosses, but the center two pieces are actually ripped out by my cousin. Sadly... Uh, maybe one day I'll pick up a nicer looking copy, but yeah, this is my original Secret of Mana strategy guide. And going back to the Nintendo Power Love, uh, yes, I had a subscription for many years from the mag magazine's inception with this, uh, Mario Mania, which covers the history of Mario up up until Super Mario World. And uh, you know, this actually is a semi-strat guide for uh, Super uh, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Little look there and yet another Nintendo Power guide uh, one of my favorites of all time which I had back in the day and I reclaimed uh, a few months ago which you saw in one of my pickup videos was the Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 6 uh, Nintendo Power strategy guide take a look at that piece of this one classic strategy guide that's near and dear to me uh, one thing I like about these strategy guides is uh, a lot of times uh, I used to be into collecting strategy guides and I'm getting back into them, but I like a lot of the artwork that it shows in there. And not only is the game a guide, but it also showcases a lot of artwork that you generally don't see like in the instruction manual or on the front and, uh, front and back inserts on a game. Now, harkening back to the 64 day, Nintendo 64 days, I was able to dig out the uh, Ogre Battle. A lot of these, uh, you know, are Prima and Brady strategy guides, but uh, they're pretty, uh, pretty sweet. And you know, next up, uh, one of my all-time favorite strategy guides because of the artwork is E6. This was actually released on the PSP and on PlayStation Two, but it's got a lot of nice artwork in there. Uh, another strategy guide, a little bit newer. Um, well, not really. <laughs> Uh, it's the Street Fighter Anniversary Anniversary Collection Strategy Guide, and what I really liked about this is uh, there was an insert in here, and it was a CD. You can see it; it's still sealed. Uh, it was a soundtrack for Street Fighter uh, Three Third Strike. It was a nice little inclusion in the in the guide. Give you a quick little flip through there. Uh, one of the newer, and this is really newer actually, uh, strategy guides that I really enjoyed picking up was a Nostalgia for the Nintendo DS because the artwork for this game is absolutely stunning and there's a lot of nice artwork in the, in the strategy guide. Granted, yes, these guides do help out. Uh, for the most part though, I really don't use strategy guides. I, I you know, once in a while I might hark into one, but if I like a game, uh, I will pick up the strategy guide for it. Um, because it, it's just part of the collecting aspect and I enjoy to have that piece of product with the game. Next up, one of my favorite covers um, to any strategy guide in or any game is Contra Shattered Soldier for the PlayStation 2. Uh, Ashley Wood, a renowned comic book artist, did the uh, game art for this, for this game and one of my favorite games on the PS2. And getting a little classic with you old school Final Fantasy fans, I was able to dig out a nice, pretty good, it's still in pretty good condition, Final Fantasy VII strategy guide. I've had this for many, many years, like I have most of these strategy guides. I also uh, 
dug out of a box recently. Uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask strategy guide. This one's uh, pretty uh, beat up, though. Sadly, I have yet to find my Ocarina of Time. I'm beginning to think it was lost in my move, re my recent move, or it's just hidden in the box somewhere. And another strategy guide, yet again, Harkening to the Dreamcast, one of my favorite titles is Shenmue. Let me take a look in there. But with all in all, showing off a couple of these track guides that I have in my collection, and there's many more on a shelf over there, but we could save that for another time. I do have two, three more strategy guides, excuse me, to just talk about. And of course, we're hearkening to work in designs in Lunar. This is Lunar the Silver Star Strategy Guide um, for the Sega CD, and it's really nice. Uh, it has a nice interview with Victor Ireland at the end, who was the uh, vice president of uh, at the time of Working Designs, and he was the basically uh, mascot figurehead for Working Designs as the years went on. The whole thing is actually in black and white, but it's uh, pretty small, and it's, uh, but it's pretty nice to have this, and it's still in pretty good condition. And moving on to work when working designs became a beast with their strategy guides. This is for Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete for the PlayStation 1. This is working design strategy guide. Complete hardcover, uh, dust jacket, little tab to know your spot. And this is one of the most beautiful strategy guides I've ever seen. I mean, look at that. Look at the detail they put in. Look at the, 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 the pictures, the crisp crisp colors, everything. There's a lot of humor in here, a lot of tidbits, a lot of history of the game. And I believe in the back here, if I'm not mistaken, yes, the work and design stickers. They used to stick, they used to put all these in a lot of their strategy guides. And the last strategy guide I would like to show off in this episode is also yet another work and designs one. This is for the game Alundra, which came out on the PlayStation 1. This is uh, one of my favorite working designs games of all time, and I still remember placing the phone call to working designs HQ out there in California and ordering this strategy guide through their uh, marketing division. And as you can see, it's a soft cover, but it's gorgeous. It's got everything in there. The working designs um, spared no detail when it came to their products. As you can see, it's one of the nicest strategy guides around. And of course, like with Lunar, you've got your, tick, your stickers in the back. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little strategy guide episode. Um, there's more to come. And um, thanks for watching. Take care.